Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Cucumber. Uh, Cucumber is a very unique card game. It is not really known, um, and so let us get right into it. And so, what you'll need is a basic standard 52 card deck. Um, and so, you'll get a standard 52 card deck dealing six cards to each player. Uh, notice how we have started out with six cards right here, like so. And so, do note that cards are ranked um, normally, uh, with two being the lowest and ace being the highest. Um, the initial, I guess, leader who leads the first trick um, is determined randomly. Um, if you wish, you can determine it using some sort of rock, paper, scissors, or um, any sort of thing like that. In, when you, in turn, when you are playing, uh, you must play a card which is equal to or higher than the previous card played. The card suit does not matter. And so, notice how either... You can so there there are two options. You can either play a card that is equal or greater than the previous card played, or you can play the lowest card in your hand. So Frog One here played a four of hearts. Once again, suit does not matter here. Right, so it's somewhat of an odd trick taking game. Um, frog two here played a five of spades. That is greater. This frog played an eight. That's greater. This frog played a 10, that's greater. This frog played an ace, that's greater. Nothing is greater than an ace. And so, you have two options, right? You can play a card that is equal or higher than the rank of the previous card played, but nothing can be higher than an ace. And so if you don't have an ace, then you can't really put that play a card because an ace is the only card that is equal. And so then you have to go to your second option. The second option is to play uh, your lowest ranking card in your hand. And so that is what we we will do here. We could either play a card that is equal or greater than uh, the, this two. Um, in this case, not, not greater than uh, because this ace is still the highest card on the table. So it has to be equal then or equal or greater than the highest card on the table. And so we can't beat this ace. So that option is gone for us. Now we will play the lowest ranking card in our hand. So. So let us sum up what we know so far. Six cards are dealt to each player from a standard 52 card deck. You can play from anywhere between three to seven players. Uh, you could even play with two players. It's just three makes the game flow a bit better. Then you look at your cards. You must play a card that is either equal or greater than the highest ranking card on the table. If you cannot do that, you can also play the lowest ranking card in your hand. Whoever plays the highest ranking card leads the next trick. Okay. And so let us just keep that's what we know so far. Let us sum up what we know so far. Once again, it's quite simple. Six cards to each player. You play a card that is either uh, uh, equal or greater in rank to the highest ranking card on the table, or you play your lowest ranking card in the hand. The player who wins the trick leads the next trick. Suit does not matter. That that It was that simple, because that's how simple this game is. And so, a 9 of... A nine, we're not going to talk about the suit, because that does not matter. A 9 was played, as well as a queen. Now... I, the highest ranking card on the table at this point is a queen. I could play a card that is equal to the queen or greater in rank. I do not have that. Thus, I am forced to play the lowest ranking card in my hand. In this case, that's the three. The player with the ace has the highest ranking card. They win the trick, they lead the next trick. 
Once again, the highest ranking card on the table is an ace. I cannot beat that highest ranking card, so I play the lowest ranking card in my hand. So it's quite simple. A very, very, very simple game. Now, once again, the highest ranking card played is a 10. So I could play a card that is equal in value to the 10 or higher in rank. I could also, once again, play the lowest value card in my hand. But those are both of your playing options on each turn. What I'll do here is I'll play my higher ranking card. So that's a jack. That means every player after, if they can, must play, if, if they choose to, can play a card equal or greater in rank. Okay. The highest ranking card is a queen. We cannot beat that, and so we must play the card that is the lowest value in our hand. And so you continue doing this, and we'll talk about what happens. Okay, now we are on the last trick, aka the sixth trick. This is the most important one, the most important trick of the round. The winner of the last trick records penalty points equal to the face value uh, of the of the cards of the card played essentially. And so, what we want to do is we want to not win the last trick. So you want to keep playing. So this person won the last trick with the queen, so they record 12 penalty points. You do not want to win the last trick. So ace is 14, king is 13, queen is 12, jack is 11 penalty points. Um, and then the rest are, is just face value, all the way down to 2 being worth 2 penalty points. So you obtain penalty points uh, for the last trick one. Uh, which are equal to the, I guess, value assigned to the card used to win the last trick. So if I play an ace and I win, I win the last trick with an ace, then I get 14 penalty points. If I win the last trick with a 2, then I would get 2 penalty points. If I win the last trick with a 10, I would get 10 penalty points. With a jack, 11 penalty points. I mean, so that's basically just it. That's literally it for Cucumber. So. Uh, do note that if two players uh, played the highest rank in the last trick, then theoretically they both won the trick. Um, therefore... I mean, obviously, the player who played first is d deemed as the trick winner. Uh, but for the sake of scoring points, we consider it as both of them having won tricks. Therefore, both players uh, record penalty points. Now, if a player reaches 30 penalty points, they are out of the game. So, let us play. Remember, we want to not win the last trick. And so my objective here is simple. I want to try to get rid of all of my higher value cards. Therefore, I don't have to win the last trick. Try to get rid of all of your higher value cards whenever you can early on. So it lowers your chances of winning the last trick. That's why... Notice that rule of playing the lowest card in the hand. It serves as a penalty. Right? It tries to even out the playing grounds. Those who have lower, I guess, value hands, it forces them to play the lowest value card in hand to try to even out the playing field. So let us keep playing here. Quite a quick game, honestly. Um, and it's... It, it's different. It's, it's so different. That's why I love Cucumber. There is no real trick-taking game that does not take it into account suits. So that's why Cucumber is truly unique in that regard. So we'll play our five. We have not won the last trick, so that's good for us. Right now the player with the jack... Okay, the player with the queen won, getting 12 penalty points.
so we will keep playing here. I believe I have explained the strategy to get rid of all of your highest value cards. Your main objective in the trick taking phase is to avoid winning the last trick because that is the one for which you score penalty points for. Thus, if you can get rid of all of your higher value cards beforehand, then you will do a great job. The highest value card on the board is a 10. I cannot beat that. I must play my lowest value card by default. If you can beat it, then obviously you have a choice. In this case, I have a choice. I'll play my 9. We are getting close here. We might indeed win this next trick. Hopefully not. Okay. So we won't because a queen was played. So if both of these players play the queen as the highest ranking, they both score at penalty points as seen. So that is what I was talking about. Remember, the limit is 30 penalty points. So this frog is in dangerous, dangerous territory here. If two players play an equal value uh, ranking card, then the player who played the who, la who played the most recent, right? So notice how we both played aces there. The player who played the most recent card wins the wins the trick. It's just to assign a winner. Um, and so let's say um, we both played kings. The player who played the last king is the uh, winner, right? If it is, if it is the highest value card. So it is not looking so good for us here. We may indeed win this round. Trying not my best not to. We may indeed win. And so, no, no, no. Okay. So, we are safe in that the player with the king will score 13 penalty points. As you can see, frog number four here is quite stressed. Because frog number four is close to 30 points. Once again, the best strategy is to get rid of your all of your higher value cards at the beginning. That prevents, lowers, that essentially lowers your chances of, of winning the last trick. Uh, which makes it much easier to sort of maintain some sort of, uh, I guess, advantage going into the last trick. Remember, once again, suits do not matter, which is quite different from any other trick-taking game. So, once again, the highest ranking card on the table is the queen. We cannot beat it, and so we must play the lowest value card in our hand. And so, this player scores more than 30 points. Frog number 4 is out of the game, as you can see here. So, what we will do is we will continue playing until we get too close to a winner. And then I will do one more final summary of the rules. So there may not be a lot of commentary here, uh, because I believe I have commentated enough. And so this is just for you to sort of see how to actually play the game. Remember the player who wins the last trick scores the penalty points, in this case 14 penalty points because ace has a rank value of 14. So now this player here is close to losing.
Do note that as the players dwindle, the game gets harder and harder because the less players there are, the greater the probability of you winning the last trick. In basic math, the probability of you winning with all frogs in play was 1 out of 7. Now after this frog left, the probability of winning a trick is 1 out of 6. All the way down to 1 out of 4, 1 out of 3, etc. So this player played a king, the highest value card in the last trick. So they scored the 13 penalty points. Remember, try to get rid of your highest value cards whenever you can before the last trick. This lowers your chances of winning the last trick, allowing you to improve your hand. I cannot beat the 8, which was the highest value card on the table at the time of me playing. Therefore, I play the lowest value card from my hand. Once again, I cannot beat the ace, so I play the lowest value card from my hand. So this player will be eliminated because they have scored more than 30 penalty points. Now it's my turn. I will lead with the ace in an attempt to get rid of it. Play my 10 in an attempt to get rid of it. I'm forced to play my 3. This round is not looking the best in that we may be forced to play some higher value cards. Luckily for us, we did get rid of our 9 there. So we are safe for this round. This the both of these players score 13 penalty points. If multiple players play the highest ranking card on and win the last tr in the last trick, every player who plays the highest ranking card scores that number of penalty points. It's not looking so good here. Okay. Thank goodness that player played a 10. The highest ranking card. They scored 10 penalty points. Forced to play the lowest value card in my hand. Once again, I'm forced to play the lowest value card in my hand. Once again, I cannot beat this card or equal it, so I'm forced to play the lowest value card in my hand. Both these players play 10s, both of them have to score 10 penalty points. That player is eliminated. If both players play the same rank card, the player who played the most recent card of that card uh, scores, right? So that player played the most recent king, even though all of them played kings, and so that player ended up sc scoring, I guess, being determined as the trick winner. They then lead the next trick.
So I simply play all my cards here. This player played an ace, scoring 14 points, and they are eliminated. So now it's just down to three players. Let us talk about this stage. The game continues until two or less players are left. Once this happens, once you get to two or less players, the game immediately ends and the player with the lowest score wins. So not only do you want to keep your score under 30, you want to have a lower score than everybody else so you can win. Thus, once there are two players left, the player with the lowest score wins the game. So two or less players left, lowest score wins the game. Quite simple in that regard. So this player is eliminated. I have the lowest score. Let's see. Two players left. I have the lowest score. I won the game. So let us simply sum up the rules here quite quickly. And um, we should be good to go in that regard. So it's a quick trick game. Six cards are dealt to each player for tricks. Objective is to avoid winning the last trick in each round. Six cards from a 52 card deck are dealt to each player. Cards rank upward from two being the lowest and ace being the highest. In e on each turn, you must play a card which is either equal to or higher than the highest value card on the table. Or you could also play the lowest value card in your hand. Those are your two options. Card suit does not matter. Whoever plays the highest or the last played of, e of equally highest cards leads the deck, as I was saying. I mean, leads the next trick. So if two players both equally play the highest ranking card, the player who played the most recent highest ranking card leads the next trick. The winner of the last or sixth trick records penalty points equal to face value, counting A for 14, King for 13, Queen for 12, Jack for 11, so on and so forth. Any player who plays the highest ranking card in their last trick records penalty points. Players reaching 30 points drop out of play. The game continues until two or less players are left. The game, once two or less players are left, the game is then immediately stopped, and the player with the lowest score wins the game. That wraps up how to play Cucumber. I hope you enjoyed playing this very unique trick taking game. Very fun, very quick, and I look forward to playing it. Hopefully, you do as well. Thank you for watching.